I wouldn't say I've ever eased off the gas pedal and Andrew has ever eased off the gas pedal. I think that there are limits to being rich that make some people happy. My brother has an addiction to hypercars. If we had none of those cars, we'd be comfortably rich enough never to work again. We could completely take our foot off the gas pedal. However, we like these things and we like these exorbitantly expensive penthouses and, and um, supercars and all the things that we buy. So I don't think that, I think it's a personal limit. I think when you take your foot off the gas pedal is a very personal limit. I think if you own your own home and you know you have investments that are paying you 100K a year, if you're happy with 100K a year and you always looked at 100K a year as a good salary and that's what you're now making residually from your investments and your home's paid off and your car's paid off, by all means, take your foot off the gas pedal Is that if that's where you are. However, there are some men in the world that are simply built different. Elon Musk could have retired after selling PayPal. He sold it for close to $100 million back in the 90s, I think, or the early 2000s anyway, when $100 million was worth a lot more than what $100 million is today. Elon could have just stopped. He could have enjoyed his life, had as many kids as he wanted, because he obviously likes women and having children. Good for him. And none of us would know his name today. Very few people would ever know who he is, but he did not take his foot off the gas pedal. In fact, he pressed it harder. I would argue he's working harder now than he probably ever has in his life. And good for him. So would you have stopped at 10 billion, 100 billion, 150 billion, 1 billion? Would you? Would I? I don't know, but some men are simply built different. So maybe I haven't stopped now when you would have in my position for the same reason that Elon hasn't stopped now when perhaps I would if I were in his position. It's all subjective.